we're in the Blaen Avon Heritage Centre and today is all about engaging young people and really making them feel as if they're a part of the Cultural Olympiad. Well, the gamelan is an Indonesian instrument and there was an understanding and a development of that instrument in the Heads of the Valley. So we've been working uh, on this site as part of the Elemental project, really to encourage people in the local area to think about sound in new ways. Part of that has been about performing with the gamelan, which is made up of uh, salvaged metal from around the area. So uh, you can take bits of metal from the mine, bits of metal that you might see around you here actually, and explore their sonic potential. One of the interesting things about using sounds is that it allows you to kind of explore the history of a place in quite a different way and get people to think about a place in a different way. So a Blind Avenue itself has a kind of a very rich industrial heritage, um, but maybe people think about that primarily in terms of the, the visual aspects of the buildings that are left behind. So we've been working with uh, school children and other participants to think about the sonic character of the, the place, both as a site today, but also how it would have sounded 100 years ago or 50 years ago. There's really quite a rich palette of sounds that can be explored from it. Things like the singing bowls kind of look interesting and you immediately go up and start hitting them, but one of the most interesting aspects is really working with the children to explore, you know, once they've started to play, how they can really kind of get quite rich and complicated compositions out of those instruments. One of the things that really, I think, uh, enthuses me as an individual and us as an organisation is about getting young people to be involved with technology in, in new and interesting ways. Particularly with music, children often come to it with quite a pre-established set of ideas about what they might be able to do and also be quite intimidated by the complexity of uh, music technology. So a lot of our work is about trying to design pieces of software and interactive experiences that really allows children to surprise themselves about their own creativity. So today we've been working with a, with a bunch of children like Miles who came to the instrument at first not really knowing what to do but within, within sort of five or six seconds is kind of starting to compose uh, ideas that almost surprised him in terms of what he could do with it. I've been working down on the Gamelan because I'm part of the Gamelan group and um, it's amazing how it's come out exactly the same noise on, on, on a computer system. It's actually shocked me. You could hear the exact same noise out down there if, if I was to go and tap a bowl. It's, it's amazing how this works, but I think overall today has been an absolutely amazing day. One of the other really fun bits about the project is taking those sounds and really seeing ways that you can use the music in quite different contexts. So we've taken a lot of the music and then are giving that to groups to choreograph their own pieces of contemporary dance to it as well. The whole of this project really is, is leading up to a kind of a performance in the, in the summer next year, uh, which is the, the Cultural Olympiad, which is really the climax of the whole project. And what we'll be doing with, with that event particularly is really exploring the performative opportunities of the site really I guess. We'll be working with bits of, uh, of the Gamelan Orchestra which you've seen, also working with new and unique bits of software that we're developing specifically for this project to allow participants from the local area A to get involved with engaging with the site but B on the day itself really going around and exploring the kind of the sonic and performative potential of the site which is based on a quite new and fresh and exciting set of experiences that occur in these buildings and structures that are just around the corner from where they live. Mm -hmm.